This morning, chilling evidence emerging of a Russian killing spree in northeastern Ukraine. Our team visiting a mass burial site with hundreds of wooden crosses in a forest in Izium, a city recently liberated by Ukrainian forces. The forensic teams are working in one small area of this woodland, but the wooden crosses stretch right down here, row upon row upon row, and on this side too. We're told 17 Ukrainian soldiers in a mass grave here, and most of the wooden crosses only have numbers. Officials saying some of the victims show signs of torture. ABC News, there to witness investigators carefully dig up bodies. Well, the forensic team here have just removed the body of a man from one of the unmarked graves, and it's obvious that he had his hands tied behind his back. Overnight, Ukraine's prosecutor general saying more than 34,000 war crimes have now been recorded throughout six months of war. <inaudible> President Zelensky saying torture, a widespread practice when Russia ruled part of the Kharkiv region, saying many torture chambers have now been found in newly liberated land. Sergei's friends and neighbors, more than 40 people and entire families killed by a missile strike in the days after Russia invaded Ukraine. How does that make you feel? I feel nothing. Nothing? Nothing. From the first day of war, every day we saw bodies, but now empty. Overnight, President Zelensky saying 10 torture chambers have been discovered in part of this region which was recently liberated. Officials saying the exhumations of hundreds of bodies from that mass burial site in Izium will probably take weeks. Tom Sufi Burridge, ABC News, Kharkiv, Ukraine.